Hi guys, it's Tasha. Hope you guys are having a beautiful in bulk full moon. Yep, that's what it is. In bulk is usually between the first and the fourth of March. And depending on where you live and situation and all the other good stuff, it is officially in bulk. So I am getting ready for tonight's full moon. Ask me why I just felt like uh, Vincent Price saying that, but hey, most of you are probably too young to know who he is anyway. So yeah, Google that. <laughs> <clears throat> so I am in the part of the house, obviously, that has the least amount of sun right now. And there's Miss Tess checking things out. So I only brought out two, two boxes of um, crystals. And my master healers, these are the ones I often tell you about that have particular um, shapes, sizes for specific reasons, like twins that are for relationships or a double term or a bridge, dolphin. So I bring those out in case Spirit tells me to add them for whatever specific reason. And then here, my other chest. Oh, this is this chest only has rose quartz in it, and this one has a mixture. And then my other one has something else. And the other one has something else. The other one has something else. The other one has something else. <laughs> so, but I think I'm good with um, these two tonight. Go on, find something else to play with besides my herbs because there's probably catnip in there and she would turn over the whole thing to get to it. So, when people always tell me, I don't have any room, I don't have any this, I don't have any that because they see other people's fancy grids or whatever, I tell them, mostly everybody has an ironing board. Yeah, there you go. Well, in my case, two ironing boards. <laughs> so you can get yourself together by any means necessary. You have, you see that big um, box right there? That's a box. I'm sure you got a box somewhere. I'm sure you have a chair. I'm sure you have, oh, the floor. Yeah. I mean, unless you're like me and I choose to leave mine up. For seven days which obviously isn't gonna happen here because I don't want the cats jumping up on it I don't mind them uh, being in my crystals but I don't want them to be in the other um, herbs and stuff so sorry let me get the um, stand tripod whatever and we can go ahead and get started then I'm gonna um, then I'm going to plant my plant on this full moon. And I purposely waited until this full moon because once you study in bulk, which I'm sure there are videos to the right, You'll see why. You know, renewing, mother's milk, um, all that good stuff. And that's my baby that I'm going to, that I took a sprig from somebody else and I'm about to repot it now. So let's go put this on the tripod and hurry up and get started. It is such a beautiful day outside, but I don't want my herbs to blow away. Am I going the wrong way? No. I am going the wrong way. Okay. Tasha, righty tidy, lefty loosey. 
except it's backwards to me. <laughs> okay, there. All right, let's see what we got here, folks. Oops. Okay. I wish this was just a little bit taller. Okay, I won't say the song, but you know what I mean. So that will have to do rock bar. And I wish we had brighter. Okay, so let's get the main thing. Let's get some sage. How's that? Okay, you stay right there. Let's get some sage real quick. Hang on. I couldn't find my bundle, so I'll have to use the pot with the bits and pieces I already broke up. Because I like to make mounds. And that is not going to happen just yet. I'll do a little one. At the time of the full moon, which in San Jose, California time, is 5 o'clock precisely for the full moon. So at 5 o'clock, this is uh, 5, 5.05. Five. See, while I'm doing that, I'm saying a little <clears throat> spell I wrote for protection. And getting rid of all the cooties and so the spirits can hear and I'll take that back in my room since everyone in the house is not so fond of that smell okay let's get started this time I am gonna put my herbs down first for whatever reason I don't ask, Ugh. I just do, okay? So here we go. Oh, you're gonna put me the... on camera? So we have our box of herbs and stuff here. So. And let's get started, shall we? So then of course you just listen to spirit and say, okay, what do I need to put on this grid this time? And that was Papa. And you just listen. So, for right now, we're just going to start with a little deer's tongue. And I just crushed some up because unlike popular belief, you do not need a lot of anything to do your magic. Okay? Are you ready to be on camera? Mm. Are you ready to be on camera? <laughs> yeah, there's Papa. <laughs> oh shoot, now I gotta see. Hang on. Okay, I'm good. I wish I could put the tripod on something so it would be looking down, but I don't have anything big enough that's sturdy. Sorry. I'll take pictures after I'm done, so I say my own little, um, oops, I'm supposed to go clockwise, not Widdershins. Widdershins is backwards.
And then, so that was deer's tongue. See, and if I had my glasses on, I could tell you what that's for. the time again I don't necessarily worry about what it's for what it's not for I just do what I'm told gender masculine elements fire planets pa uh, Mars which is me Aries um, lust psychic powers I don't read everything nope I think I'll be using any oils since oh hi John Root hi John the Conqueror that smells so good your smell <laughs> I need to turn it around so I can see him sorry have a little and a lot of these you know I had <laughs> I sent I had them made by a certain uh, witch in Africa and therefore I am not telling you what the ingredients are because in this one for prosperity um, money, it's secret. And again, you see, I've had this, I've had this for years, mind you. And look, imagine that I still have, and that one smells good too. Look at all that I have left. I ha I've probably had this for about, what are you doing? Oh, something glittered and she felt the need to chase it. Um, 12, 11, since 2011. See, so you don't have to pour the whole bottle every time you keep buying more and more and more and more and more. Okay, oh, that smells really good. I look forward to building my altar just so mm, I can put my stuff on me. This is a prosperity oil that a friend made for me and I don't know how. I can make something and it's not nearly as pretty. It doesn't have glitters and stuff like that, you know? But other people make stuff and it smells just like candy. <laughs> Tess, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you know what? We could have a, add a little camphor to this one, huh? Now, mind you, it's not... I don't care about being perfect and looking pretty. I care about being useful. Now, I'm not going to open the whole package this time. But, I am going to take the whole cube out if I can get it out now. The camper usually comes like this. And there's individual slices in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five little tiny square slices in there. And I don't want to open it up. So I'm just going to leave that on there. Because at this stage in the game, it will probably all break to pieces. And that's not the purpose of this part of the grid right now. Alter. I call it a grid. You call it whatever you want. And we're moving on to Palo Santo. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's obviously a tree because these are little sticks. Little bits of wood and they smell so good for protection and security. Come on, get a little bit of there since I can't open it here. Usually they come like that. Okay? And I get mostly all my herbs and stuff now from the Shabby Witch on Etsy. She knows her stuff. 
I don't like dealing with people that know her stuff. So I go to her and I say, I need something for blah, blah, blah. And she'll say, oh, you need shoestring. And I'm like, okay. Well, actually, I had a dream about shoestrings. And then I went to her and I asked her, is there some herb called shoe something shoestring? And she says, yeah, it's called devil shoestring. And it's carried for protection and to stop any attacks against you. Um, and then, you know, you, have, you use it to your add it to your mojo bag or whatever sometimes it can look like this I wish I could hmm. have better light right over my head maybe I'll move my stuff over there because the lighting is better but shoot sorry and some people have it in like long little strings. So I'm adding my devil shoe string. Don't need a lot. You do not need a lot. You know, we're always under the misconception you have to have a whole handful of something. In the movies, do you ever see them putting a whole handful of something? That's probably the only thing that's right about a lot of witchy movies. They just use a pinch. Let me smell it. See, I don't write on stuff, so I got to smell it and see what it is. Bay leaf. Oh. Hi, John Root. Hi, John Root. which looks like a little dried up prune. Oh, that smells so good. Let's put all that in the center. How, how's that? Okay, it's for strength, confidence. Conquer any situation, obtain success. When at gambling, luck, money, love, health, protection. I love that she puts all that right there on the card for you. She, I'm telling you, the shabby witch, y'all. You better hear it and get on over there because when I buy stuff, I buy her out. Mer, hmm. Where's that? Oh, dragon's blood. I gotta have me some dragon's blood, honey. Hunty, as your farmer would say sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm good? Okay, they said after this I'm good. So you just gotta listen. You can't be doing what other people do and asking, how do you do this and how do you do That's why you're a witch. You have to do your own homework. I mean, I'm not saying don't get a head start. You know, you can get a foothold. And this is uh, a little chunk of dragon's blood which comes in lots of different shapes and sizes i have tons of it as i love the smell and i love the cleansing it does in my home oh they said put some calorie shells on there so i got my little bag of calorie shells that ifama gave me and something else i bet you guys don't think of i used to make a lot of traveling altars and in my traveling altars, I would put a little sword. So we're going to put that there for more protection. It's a tent. I think it's not for cuteness factor. It's not for, I mean, yeah, sure, you see those people making altars with, you know, 700 pieces of clear quartz into a daisy or something. But we don't all have the... A necessity to do that and there's even a little bit in there that I'm gonna put when I burn my um, charcoal tab I put it in my cauldron and then I pour these little bits in there I know he's not about to start shaving really Okay, 
So I had to go get my clear quartz for, oops, sorry, did I move you too much? Let's see. No, not too much. <laughs> you can see this contraption I have set up here. There, how's that? There, that's better. Now, okay. Okay, so this time I put my herbs down first. Just throw some shells on there. Literally. And one, two, three, four, how many? Six? Okay. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there's one for the cats to play with. Oh, or for the dog to eat. Let's pick that up. I don't want the dog choking. don't this I just take these bits off and then I will later put it in my colander that I put all my big crystals in I have a colander for big crystals I got a colander for medium crystals little crystals um, where's the rest of my huge clear quartz I must have given them away too yeah I give everything away except my danberite <laughs> Hmm. This'll do. Dick's gonna go on the outside when we're when we're finished. Can I set that there without moving stuff? Yes I can. Okay. See now even the Palo Santo, I'll burn a little bit of that and leave it in the cauldron. But the big stuff I'll put back in here. and put it in my colander for cleansing. Used again. Okay, what are we gonna start with, guys? We're gonna start with some pink quartz, okay? Let's start with some pink quartz, not pink quartz, rose quartz. See, you have to be specific about what you say. So, I think I'll use Big Mama in the middle and then I have some of her big babies around the edges. It's so funny. You go looking for stuff and I'm like, dang, do I have to give everything away, Tom? There, I'll use these. These are good sizes. So, this time, Spirit wants Big Mama in the middle. I don't want to break up those Where's the, t okay, right there. I don't think that'll fall off, fall off the ironing boards, so that's safe. There, there you go, big mama. And then we're gonna put her babies. And you wanna know what the witch towers are? They are the north, south, east, and west. Okay. Okay, he said add some more, so we're going to add some more in the little baby bucket. And I, all the time while you're doing this, I'm saying pretty much what I am going to be doing for ritual tonight <clears throat> so we're just going to set our big energy boosters here yeah cat hair on everything Ugh. love cats hate the hair so I've got my fourth my four usually I put up about eight but that's okay we're going to put Sammy out okay Sammy gonna be watching over things, y'all. 
Your Sammy. Carbon inclusions and all. Yes, that would be a clear a clear quartz skull. Boo. <laughs> okay, and then we'll add some okay. No. Where's the whatever, this is fine. Well, probably I'll find my big malachite in the other bin. Okay, let's keep it moving. What else, you guys? Let me get behind you here. I had a goodie box, pulled it a little closer. is a workout I gotta tell you moving these bins with these heavy crystals that's okay I could use a workout um okay what's in this one and then now to protect all my crystals I put them some bubble wrap until I use them These are my towers. The towers. Let's call out the towers. The towers, north, south, east, and west. Yes. Yes. And yes. Oh, I love my little tower babies, and I have tons of them. Okay, Fluorite. Um, they haven't told me to put you yet, so you just stay over there. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to start with the tallest one. And put it in the back back there. No, I'll change the camera later. Okay, you go back in there. And I'm setting these on the inside for whatever reason. It don't matter. I just do what I'm told. Okay, so, so far, we have this. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna set you back down. Keep on pushing. Okay, you guys, what's next? I think I'll leave him right there looking on, adding energy. That's why you add your clear quartz. In most grids, you see clear quartz on the outside. It is the master generator booster. So when you point it inward, like this. Isn't that gorgeous? I got that from, oh, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter because every time I see a crystal, I think about the person that I got it from, sold it to me, whatever. Uh, and when you point them in towards, oh, I didn't bring um, Tangy. Let me go get Tangy. Hang on. Hi, Tess. And most people would call this a cathedral. Is that not beautiful? Look at that. It's so clear you could see right through to the other stuff on the grid. Yeah, you pay extra for that, just so, just so you know, for your newbies that might not be known. And, and Tangi is always at the head of the table. So I'm not going to go with her shins, I go clockwise. So Tangi is going to go at the head of the table. 
That's a fairy dust. That's called fairy dust. When you see that on crystals, and, and sometimes even smaller than that, it's called druze. Okay, so you know, and the other side. Okay. Okay, Bertha, we're gonna go right there. <coughs> and uncommon to popular belief, all crystals that look like clear quartz are not clear quartz. And hopefully when the sun is out better, I'll go out and take a picture of this. But you see how this point is? It's more of a flat and then a point. That is Danbarite. I can't find a good shot. Come on. That is Danbarite, and I wish... Okay, I can show you this way. See how it's cylindrical, and then it comes to a point? That's um, Danbarite. And they told me to use my little Danbarite on today's grid, boys and girls. So, okay, you can look on there. So we're going to go around here. Let me put you over there. And this is my newest little baby clear quartz cluster. Oops, sorry. Isn't she beautiful? And I'm thinking we're going to just smooch over this rosy here, rose quartz. And put her right alongside. I do, I do. Now don't forget, Clear Quartz is the programmer, master healer. Because when we activate, remember that word because I might not remember it later. Activate the grid, which means to bind the crystal energies and everything together into to form the energy that I want to form. Hang on. There, stay there. <clears throat> and it goes down a teeny bit anyway. Okay. Um, see, that's what the, the point of the, having in most grids, you'll see the clear quartz is always on the outside. It's to activate the crystals. Let me go get my generator real quick. Sorry, I didn't want the cats to knock it over last night, so that's what I'm doing it now. <laughs> This is my, <coughs> excuse me, my work bag. And I call it my work bag because it contains lots of different types of crystals. So for those of you in the group primarily that I'm going to share this with, in the Bloodline group, for those of you that might be new to crystals, you could Google, don't ask people, go find your own stuff and then let spirit tell you what works for you and what you don't need because everybody thinks because you have this huge, you know, 50 pound crystal that you have to have one. You don't have to have one, you have to have the knowledge and power of how to use these, okay? This is called a Vogel because Mr. Vogel and all his goodness, a non-believer of crystals when he was ill, this is what spirit told him to make. See, so the who have all these cuts in it to focus the energy from me to you and out into a specific area of your body that needs healing. <coughs> Excuse me. I need water because I talk too much. <coughs> and I leave these in plastic specifically so they don't get broken. And I always put them at the top of my work bag. Here is another um, <coughs> Vogel with, um, oh shoot, see now I can't think of the name. The little golden hairs on the inside. What is that called, you guys? Brutilated quartz, thank you. I was talking to spirit, not you guys. Oh, hold on. 
there. You see the hairs in there? It's little slivers of sometimes copper, carbon. You'll often see that um, with carbon hairs in it instead. Or other stuff that I don't know about yet, huh? That's my little wand. Okay, where's my generators, Tosh? Come on, come on, come on. My little tiny itty bitty crystals. Everything has a purpose, everything has a use. Figure out what it is. What is the size, shape, each different color? Because each crystal has tons of different colors. You know, people say, well, how come that's a jasper? I don't know, because there's like a thousand different types of jasper. Okay, so these little tiny ones, let me find the one. I have three, praise God. Because they are very, I've been told they're hard to come by. <clears throat> this one I, okay see I had three generators I bought five but the other two were not true generators okay so a generator for those that you may not know is and it doesn't have to be pretty like this because most of them aren't they're just regular old stuff that's dug up out the ground and, and cleaned okay are like this quartz is this actually you know what this is this is a Brandberg and you can always tell because I'm tr that's why I'm trying to tell you guys the shapes of things are important this the way this face is it's different so that's how you know it's a Brandberg I can't really here's another Brandberg uh, Brandberg is in Africa where they dig up the smoky quartz clear quartz Amethyst Quartz, um, and I recently found out there is another one, and I forgot already. Back to our generators. So our generators, you see the point on there? Each one of those little faces are the same size and come to an exact point. And though you can't exactly see the point, <laughs> I'll try and find the picture for you. This is what I will set aside to activate my grid. And I have some in hydros, and in hydro is a crystal that, oh, this is a key. Oh, this is so beautiful. Let's see if you can see the key. Whatever, the key is right there. It's an indent. Um, there's my hydros, in hydros. Yeah, okay, I'll do that later. This is a very beautiful, um, I don't know for sure what it is, but, and since it's smooth, you can't really tell. Wand that my dear sweetheart neighbor uh, from my apartment gave me. And I use that for different reasons. Pushing on, pushing on. Okay, so I have my generator to accelerate. I call it binding. Other people call it ex um, at Oh shit, see, I already forgot the A word. Whatever that A word is that I said earlier that I told you I'm gonna forget about, because I don't call it that, I call it, I bind my grids together. I bind my crystals together. Okay, let's see what else is supposed to be on here, guys. Some Argonite. Okay, I'll get some Ar Ar Aragonite and some Cherry Quartz. Gotta lift everything slowly. I don't want stuff banging. Let's get some beautiful Cherry Quartz. Drews. Isn't that pretty? That's why I keep my shit wrapped up so it don't get dirty and non-sparkly. <laughs> okay, you guys, where am I going to put this? Over there? Okay. And my Aragonite. One over there, come around, one over here, okay. And I have six more someplace hidden away, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Oh, where is, um, you can hear this. Let's put all of these together, Tosh. All of my little points. Where's my fourth one? I buy things in fours if I can. 
Well, there's another good generator. You could use a generator out of anything, you know. Not just clear quartz. That's what some teachers will tell you. It has to be clear quartz. No, it has to be your finger, okay? That's, that's the basics. Your finger, okay? See, now, even this is a twin, which, okay, yeah, you can see right there. That's a twin. I use that uh, a lot for relationship grids. So a lot of you have already written to me with your questions. And no, if you're watching this vid, it's too late. You should have been on my page looking. Um, okay. Where's my, um... <clears throat> oh, there it is. Zelenite wand, fluorite, fluorite, fluorite. Uh, did I say fluorite? Yeah, that is fluorite. Okay. And malachite is in there too. The little shiny bits. We're going to put some celestite on there. Okay, we're going to put some celestite on there. Wavelight? No. This is wavelight. It's one of those you don't hear about a lot. Focus. There we go. And it is so beautiful with a little um, blue which I can't think of the name of the blue stone is, that it grew next door to. Um, no? Oh, okay. Dang it, my raw malachite is in yet another toolbox. Oh well, this will do. This will do, my little... My little wands. Sorry, I do need that tower. Where are you, tower? Okay, I could use the... Oh, I should make a pendant out of that one. Smoky Quartz from... No, it's not from Hallelujah Junction. Also, it's important to know where things are from. Who dug it? How? Why? When? What time of year? Was it rainy? Was... Everything is everything, okay? Self-healing bottom that they cut off to be flat. So you could put it on your grid, which I'm about to do right now, and that's smoky. A lot of the, a lot of the, um, excuse me, um, crystal hounds, rock hounds don't like for you to call it topaz. They say, there's no such thing as topaz. It's smoky quartz. I don't need to get that technical, y'all. Okay, you guys, where's this going? It's going to go here? Okay. What's next? Rose quartz? Okay. And I'm going to put that, that one, because I, it doesn't have to be pretty. It has to be useful. Oh, sorry. So that's, um, yeah, snowflake, obsidian, unikite. Sorry, I got to work on getting some lamps in here or putting the, the boards in a, I thought this, I thought I did put it under the light, but, organite, I mean, um, Unikite, unikite, unikite. Little bits of pink with green is unikite. There we go. Okay, so we're pretty much finished. And then later, I'm going to go dig up my other clear quartz and put it. No? Oh, okay, I'm going to use the tools. Okay, we're going to use the tools, ladies and gentlemen. Spirit says we're going to use the tools. Dang, I want to put everything in my box and on the grid, but I don't think these ironing boards could handle it. Is that not beautiful? Look at that. <laughs> She's just so beautiful. I love it. Clear quartz Drews. Of course, it was in something really big. Okay. Okay, so this is Celestite. It is usually blue, which you can't tell under this poor lighting I have. I should have thought to brought in all the lamps so it will be, but I didn't. And I didn't want to wait too close to 5 o'clock because that's the time of the full moon. And I will go outside. Isn't that gorgeous? And see, it has, oh, it has a matrix too. And for those of you who don't know, I love anything left on the matrix. So, where are we going to put blue, blue celly? Up here? Okay. 
blue celestite will go there. See now, I'm telling you the names of all these crystals so you can go look them up. Don't sit here and ask me, what's that for? What's that for? What's that for? What is that property? What is that property? What does that do? Blah, blah, blah. Does it always look like that? Go do your own research. That's what a witch does. That's why you are calling yourself a witch. It, hoodoo, voodoo, whatever the hell you into. That's why you call yourself that because you do your homework for yourself. You don't sit here and ask Terrain. You don't sit here and ask me. You don't sit here and ask Marcy all day long. What is that for? What is this for? No. Go do your own research. That's why you are who and what you are. Okay, I think that's about it. So now I'm going to put the last few touches on and get ready because I got things to do, y'all. There. Get up, get up. So the kids don't be batting it around. You know your animals love crystals, and if you think they shouldn't, you need to learn more about your animal. Oh, okay. This one too. They said this is. Um. I thought it was oralite because of the red top, but it's not. <clears throat> this is a very rare form of amethyst that I had never seen before two years ago. See the different layers? That's why I thought it was oralite. And um, if you haven't already, sub subscribe to Tasha'sTouch.com. This is the next stone we're going to be talking about in that newsletter. And, oh, we're going to be talking about <laughs> oralite 23, sorry, not amethyst okay so put that back put that back put that back and then I'm going to get excuse my boobs in my cheek the healers okay now I'm using this as a accelerate no damn it, activator and booster and the intention of the shape so again i'm not going to tell you every single little thing go by judy hall crystal bibles one two three and oh you want to go in there too all right well where are you going to go and you got to listen to your crystals they talk to you shut up listen okay mm -hmm. okay well i'm not kissing this one because you know those little slivers come off <laughs> You're going to go there? Okay. You sure? Just ask it. Okay. Let me put my um, tools back real quick. Because, yeah, nothing can happen to my tools. This is a really big in hydro. And you can't see it. But you can uh, watch it on YouTube. And the little inclusion that's inside of a inclusion. So there's inside this crystal, there's a hole. Inside the hole, there's something bobbing around in there. It could be a pebble, it could be a bug, it could be um, another piece of crystal inside the crystal. And this is a pophilite. A poph See, that don't look like a regular crystal, right? See, everything isn't what you think it is. That's why I tell you, so research, research, research. This is a pophilite. Which is similar to, but not, danberite. That's why you got to do your hunting and searching and studying for whatever craft you're in. Oh, so happy to have my little tool babies. So when I um, used to go to people's houses, I would just take this bag because I don't take all my crystals everywhere. I don't want everybody's cooties on my stuff. Really, I mean it. I'm not trying to be mean or whatever that's just life I, when you come to my house you don't touch my crystals you can look close i really don't even want you breathing on them but you know i ain't gotta breathe so there that's my little pouch that i take with me when i go out to do healings let's put that in there okay let me okay uh got that got that got that got my herbs and I got to tell you, when you just stand here oh, and feel that energy, 
of everything. Now see, even before, I don't know what time it is, but before five o'clock, I'm gonna go out and I'll get me a, a stick, some leaves, some dirt, and I'll put that on there too. Well, actually, I keep my generator down over here to my right, probably because I'm right-handed. Okay, so let's go. And then this is going to tidy this up. And then I got to shave, shower, shine, and get ready for tonight. But see, all week long, before the full moons, before the quarter moons, you know, I'm thinking and doing and writing, thinking and doing and writing. So you just keep a piece of paper on the wall. I keep a piece of paper taped to the wall. And I jot down notes. And now, after doing it all these years, it's a habit. This is a twin. This is a... Soulmate. Guess why? Yeah. <laughs> this is a soulmate. Uh, record keeper. Though, I'll have to take a picture of it after I find... Oh, there's a little triangles. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's triangle and <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'll take a picture of it later for you. So I try to balance it out. Though I believe energy is like water. It, it balances itself. We have a double... A, uh, double terminated. You've got the point at the top. You've got the point at the bottom. That's a double terminated. So when you're working, the one who's doing the work points one end towards them, and the one getting the work, you point it towards them. Okay. I'll give you a little bit. I'm gonna give you everything because you gotta, you know, work, work it for yourself. This um, was a uh, what was this one called? A bridge? No, not a bridge. It doesn't have a bridge. One that lays across the other crystal. This one, I think, is a barnacle. Let me see. Where's my barnacle? And this is a fadden. A fadden is a flat crystal. Let's just put you right there. How's that? And mind you, all these, excuse me, I'm putting around the edges is to, this is a barnacle, are uh, to um, boost the crystals on the inside. So imagine it, I imagine it this way. This is going to boost the connect, 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 and go out. So I imagine it as a big fat donut, the energy. See, and everything has a purpose. Everything has a reason. Okay? Anyway, let's get going. I got things to do. People to see. No, I'm kidding. Spirits to talk to. This is why you study your craft. And I've been studying crystals a little bit since I was 15 and got my very first... Um, rose quartz for my Sunday school teacher. Is that balanced? Let's see. And balance doesn't mean it's symmetrical. Symmetrical is balanced or asymmetrical is balanced? Marcy? When stuff is the same on one end and the other, it is asymmetrical or symmetrical i'm not sure okay well we think and then right now it's only my video so what we say matters it's asymmet it doesn't have to be asymmetrical no you don't need to write to me about that it doesn't matter by the time you write to me about that it's going to be over because this video will be loading as i am outside doing my ritual okay am i going to use this one guys no? Okay, we're going to balance out the aragonite over here. I'll point it inwards. It go, everything goes in. Unless you're in, on the new moon, I point them out. 
for stuff to leave to ready me to get it on the new full moon sorry okay some witches do manifesting on the new moon it depends on who you are what you and how you get in where you fit in you know but this is just tosh it's my video when it comes to your video i'll watch it like it thumbs up <laughs> and don't forget to sub share and thumbs up okay right, right there okay okay that's it for now folks you have stuff to do i gotta get my um other stuff ready okay so the activation part you say okay so for the activation let me try let me just try it this way and hopefully my fat arm won't get tired hey i'm oldly male okay see there you go there's everything i hope you could see it well because i can't see what you see right now so besides the shadow <laughs> Okay, there, how's the hat? Okay. Let me draw it back. Oops, sorry. Okay, that way. Okay, this looks pretty good. I'm just gonna um, rest it on my head. Hopefully you can see everything. My generator wand, as it were. And again, it doesn't have to be something big and elaborate, even like this. You could use this. And the best thing of all to use... Oh, thank you. They wanted me to turn that around for whatever reason. Doesn't matter. Don't ask. Just do. Your finger is the best. So yeah, stop thinking you have to be like somebody else. I bind this grid with health, wealth, peace, and prosperity. I bind this grid with health, wealth, peace, and prosperity. I bind this grid with health, wealth, peace, and prosperity. Okay, so that's how somebody do it. Some people do it. They do it like a pizza. I don't do it like a pizza anymore. Because I know it's a donut and the energy to me in my head and my mind right now is going this way before I, I finish it and it poof, shoots out into the universe and it sprinkles all over you and you and you and you and you all over the world. Okay, so I bind this grid with health, wealth, peace and prosperity and then I'll go on the inside. I bind this grid with health, wealth, peace, and prosperity. And then I go on the inside. I bind this grid with health, wealth, peace, and prosperity. And then I go back on the outside. I bind this grid with health, wealth, peace, and prosperity. And so it is. And so it is. So mote it be. And then I leave that one there. Okay, my little generator. I leave it right there because I'm gonna do it again tonight and then I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so I'm gonna go outside at five o'clock. Now this day, the wind is pretty still. I can actually stand up in the backyard and do most of the stuff I wanna do. And then at midnight, if it's still, still, I'll do it again. And it's gonna shut me off, so I'll see you guys later. And here's a few things I have since added to the altar, which is my Book of Shadows. That my sister at FOMA made for me. Sorry. beautiful and everything means something is that gorgeous and it's quite thick to last me for several 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 years and I usually leave that on my altar and I open it to whatever spells and stuff I have read uh, created 
for this time, my Athene. Um, she usually goes on that side with a candle I usually put there for my male deities. My yellow candle. This is a chime candle, what's called a chime candle, and a little chime holder. And I don't know what the thing is called on the bottom, but Dear Sweet Geo bought me a set of six. And it's really nice if you don't want to get your altar too too dirty. And I am going to play some music for a bit of my altar. And and then I turn it off and I recite and I've got my 12 pages. No, it's not 12 pages. I doubled it. So it's only um, six pages of four pages of initials that I have collected from different groups that I post the put your initials. You know what I mean? Because you probably saw it. Post your initials for healing. This particular healing is going out for this for this full moon is going out to those that are trying to learn, discern, and use their um, gifts. So, if you didn't see the first video, go back and watch the first video. Come on now, you got to watch these in, in order and be orderly about your business and your practice. Okay, so, oh, what is an athame? This is an athame. Some people call it a theme. I like to say athame. You can say whatever you want. See if I can get this off with one hand and not cut myself. And of course it's not, it's, it's, well, yeah, it could cut paper. <laughs> it could cut a hair. Everybody has a different kind or type. I didn't bring my wand out. I'll get one of the several different types of wands that I use from time to time. But that is my athame and it's usually considered male energy so it's on the male side um, of this altar. My normal altar I put female on this side for whatever reason and um, yeah, the male's over there so Eshu has a huge like foot and a half tall candle holder and I'm not going to bring that out into the living room so I brought other representation for him them so it is time and I have all my other ingredients over here on the side that are personal and you don't need to see them and I'm going to get started now and I start with my um, opening of the watchtowers north south east west and welcome them in as I do that in a clockwise, standing clockwise motion. Obviously, I don't have much room around here to make a big circle, so <laughs> I just go around in circles in place. And I, I um, open my circle and put down my power protections that way. And then I'll move into... Uh, the reason, you know, inviting all the entities in and go on from there. So, we will see you afterwards. I'm sure you don't want to stick around for me naming and blessing some odd 500 people. So, I'll just put it on hold right here. How's that? <laughs> okay, I'll be back. <laughs> 